Hey everyone, and welcome to another midweek conversation. My name is Joe Eric, and I am here with Pastor Lisa, and we are excited to have this conversation. In fact, um, the reason why we do these every week is because we value here at Live the Life Church community, and we value conversations. We know that God shows up and meets us both online and in person every Sunday, but we just really believe that when two or more gather, when you have a group of people that gather and have a conversation that's going to build the person up and the people up when they have those conversations. I'm telling you, God does some incredible things. And so that's why we set the example to have a conversation here for a few minutes. Um, and that way you can join in on the conversation. And we'll leave you with some questions after this conversation that we have here that can bless you. So, in fact, we, we hope that you're watching this. If you're watching this alone, uh, hey, share this with somebody. But also, we hope that you're watching these every week with a group of people. In fact, um, we hope that you're watching this with your growth group because here at Live Life Church, we have growth groups um, and they watch these conversations. So all of the growth groups watching today, we're so glad you're gathering and we just hope that this conversation today is going to bless you and encourage you. So today, the conversation, the topic that we're going to talk about is walking out the call that God has on your life. Um, I'm going to refer back to a, a point in a message that we just had out of a family month series that we did. And the point was this, that the goal is to grow leaders that will walk out the calling God has on their life. Now, it was referenced to in context of parents, right, that the parental um, role and the goal is to grow kids that will walk out God's calling on their life. But it doesn't matter, honestly, even this point we're here and what we're going to talk about, it's not just for parents. I mean, this is for married couples, that the goal is for the couple, the marriage, to walk out together the calling that God has on the marriage um, if you're a high school student, it's walking out God's call and plan on your life while you're a high school student. Same thing if you're in college, if you're single, if you're retired, um, a grandparent, wherever you're at in your life, whatever season you're in, the goal is to always right. yeah. walk out God's call on your life in that season. I don't know if you want to add a few yeah, notes Yeah, for sure. It doesn't, yeah, that doesn't, the calling doesn't stop um, because of a season, mm. right? Or because yeah. of a timing or crisis or good or bad or whatever mm -hmm. you know I was kind of like I laugh at um I was at a wedding one time and and the bride was you know um being a little bit of a bridezilla <laughs> and they were like it's her day she yeah. could do whatever she wants yes. it's the bride right yes. so we see that's you know that's normal language in our yes. culture and it's just funny because I've been around a lot of weddings mm -hmm. you know clearly but um I think that as the the bride of Christ like we don't get that day we don't get that pass and we don't get that pardon. Uh, like we are to reflect and to produce, to walk out the calling of God every single day, every single time, no matter the season. And in every season, you know, God says it's good. That's so good. there's production that should be happening. I yeah. Because yes, we go through seasons as we grow in age physically here, but the moment we accept Jesus, we're always the bride. You right. Know, all the there's seasons, no we're always exceptions. The bride. I love Absolutely that. no exceptions. So, so really, you know, one of the questions I want to ask and we can talk about today, the first one, when it comes to walking out God's call, on your life. Again, in reference to parents, marriage, adults, kids, wherever you're at in your life, really this question kind of, all these questions are going to be about for everyone in every season. But really the first question is, why do you think that people are not walking out God's call on their life? What, what do you feel yeah. like is, you yeah. know, maybe some things, distractions that are maybe stopping people or confusing people from walking out God's call in their life? Well, I think, I think first of all, you, you know, you have to know to even seek it. Yeah. You have to know that there's a plan, yes. right, and a purpose, and then you begin to seek it. I think sometimes people will avoid it because we have an inclination to want to seek out our own plan and our yes. own will, right? Yes. So there's that. Mm -hmm. But then there's these other things as you get further in. Maybe um, uh, maybe they get distracted with other people's callings. Yes. Maybe they're comparing themselves. Yeah. Maybe they get distracted with um, it's easy to walk into a church and to experience the presence of God. And um, you're looking at a goal. You're looking at somebody on platform, or you're looking at the microphone, mm -hmm. or the you know the singer, or the the musician, yeah. or you're looking at people that are already established in position, mm -hmm. and then you say, "I want to do that," right? Yeah. And it's not. There's a process that happens with that. So I think the lack of patience or perseverance. Sometimes mm -hmm. we think that it's going to be a quick fix because we've heard from the Lord. Yes. Well, every, all of God's children here is, you yes. know, they hear from the Lord. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it is magnificent. But there's this process and push through and perseverance that has to happen so yeah. don't measure by the platform or the microphone or whatever measure by mm -hmm. the mirror of God's word what does he called you to do in this season yes and what do you have to push through and persevere through 
and um, and he'll let you know when you're ready. Exactly. Like people are not holding you back. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think too. I think you kind of reference it, but I think ultimately we got to understand. Like we got to know God Himself. Oh, like, absolutely. I mean, that's great that you can read. We can read self help books. Yeah. Right. That's great that we can have plans and you know to dream and future. Right. Uh, but at the end of the day, we got to remember who who's ultimately in control. That's right. Um, and and not to say that God doesn't care about our dreams. Like that is completely also. But but it's, in fact, He wants us to to know His heart because I think yeah. when we get to know God's heart, His heart and His plans start being poured into our heart. Right. And all of a sudden, we start wanting what God wants. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, and and I think that's really the goal. Is first, I think why people sometimes are not, and because I think sometimes yes, we are focused on walking out our plan and that's okay like no one's frustrated like great right. you got a plan first of all some people just need to get a plan let's just yeah, start yeah, yeah. there right, right? right. right. people need to have a plan for their life but but then i think the realization understand like man god's plan is so good mm-hmm. and that he actually does have a plan it's not like yeah. god's kind of hoping to figure this out this thing your life trying to like well, i don't know what are we going to do with you like from the moment we took our first breath yes. while he was creating this god already had a plan and a call for your life and if we if we're in need of it all we got to do is ask yeah. And he has it for us. And yeah, so it's a, it's a plan to fulfill his plan. Yes. Right. It's, and so if we, yes. when we get our eyes on that, on our plan, or we want it to look a certain way or be a certain way, yes. then it's out of, it's out of his plan, you yes. know? So even though it looks good and it could even look spiritual, but it's not yours, yeah. man, you're going to just spend time wandering around and wasting, wasting time. So, yeah. you know, it's always his plan. Yeah. It's always plan. And I love, I love what you said. It's first realizing that God actually has a plan for our life yeah. and that God is actually calling us. For such a time as this. And so with that, now that we have understanding that God does have a calling on our life, I guess another question that we can talk about is what is it that we can do right now in whatever season we're in? What is it that we can do practically that will help us, encourage us and grow us into walking out God's call in our life? What what are just some simple practical ways for people, anyone watching, again, married, parenting, single, that we can that will help us walk out God's call in our life? Anything that you can do to grow yourself Mm -hmm. in Christ is a win, huge. Like learning who he is, uh, learning more about him because it uh, becomes who you are. It becomes your identity. So you've got this, uh, uh, you you have to spend time practically. You know, if you want to hear his voice, people say, well, I'm not hearing him. Well, he's already, you know, there's this whole thing called the Bible. He's already (laughs) said it, you know. So start there. You know, that's what I'm saying. Start there. See what he has to say about the things. Get to know who he is, the nature and the character, mm-hmm. not the memorization mm-hmm. of the word, the life of the word, oh, the life-giving right. power of the word. Yes. You know, uh, learn that. Surround yourself with people that have already mm-hmm. been there, right? Yeah. Who, like, who are you following? Who yes. are you looking to? Who is not, not to say uh, who's mentoring or whatever, because that's such a, a weird, yes. difficult word. Mm-hmm. But who have you made yourself available to and who is your circle of friends, oh, right? Yeah. And what direction are they going you know, yeah. are they getting closer to God and feed into that, like, uh, do that, you know, we say growth groups, like mm-hmm. easy connection, yes. because here we are, here we are having a conversation, yes. there they are in their homes, they're going to have the same conversation, yes. right, wrong, good, bad, ugly, pretty, whatever, yes. whatever the conversation looks like, mm-hmm. everybody's growing from it, and yes. that's so good. Yeah, and, and, but really quick, what you said, it's, it's making yourself available mm. for people, right? Yes. Like, there's so many times, and again, we're not, like, I mean, I've even seen my own life where we just always walk into rooms and to places just already with walls and just like, no, I'm not, I'm not going to open myself up or be available for anyone mm-hmm. and everyone to speak into. And I think mm-hmm. that is crucial, like really like for us to be available that and have the mindset that anyone and everyone can speak to me because they have they carry the spirit of God. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't matter what position they're in. You kind of mentioned oh that. it doesn't gosh, matter yeah. how much money they make. It doesn't matter where they're at in years of their life or their track record of what they've done, at the end of the day, God can and will use anyone mm-hmm. um, to speak as long as that we are available. I think yeah. availability, kind of not really off topic, but availability is crucial when it comes to walking out God's calling out. Be teachable. Like, yes. be teachable. The enemy wants us to walk into to places. I don't know what it is, but it's like if, if somebody gets around leadership and they feel the pressure to have to be, um, I don't know, act holy, or we know yeah. what that looks yes. like, right? Yes. Where it's like they say they start saying crazy spiritual things, and you're like nobody talks like that. <laughs> you're like, well, cleanliness is next to godliness, yeah. and you're like, that's not even in there. <laughs> like I don't, like whatever, you know. Yes. And, and you know, I we just want to know anybody, yes. any real person wants to know another real person. Yes. And um, I think just like like that, just making yourself av- available, be who you are, and be where you're at, and be mm-hmm. true to it. Yes. 
and be seeking God to become greater. Yes. Like, so that way it, it doesn't take extra time to tear you down mm -hmm. and all the facade and the masks and the layers and the fig leaves and all that that you're hiding behind to get to the real person yes. so the healing can actually come and growth can actually come. That's good. And yeah. I think another one of the last one practical way for us to grow in God's calling is just getting plugged into the local church. Getting yeah. plugged into it. Maybe you're watching this and you're okay. not in San Antonio. You're not here yeah. on the southeast side of San Antonio. So we're not saying it has to be live the life. But if you're here and you're located in this area, get plugged into live the life church, yeah. the local church. Because I think the understanding that we have to have and know that is that, yes, God cares about everyone individually, but we serve also a corporate God. Yeah. And we have to understand, like you're saying, that God had a plan. And from the very beginning, um, it's the church. It's his bride. Mm -hmm. So why would we not get plugged into God's plan, mm -hmm. right? Like, yes, God wants to work individually in everyone's life because he's called you specifically for something that no one else can do. Yes, that's great individually. But we have the, one of the greatest resources, not one, the greatest resource. And that's the bride. That's the body. That's yeah. the church. So why would we not get plugged into God's plan? And why would we think it wouldn't help our plan or God's plan individually for our lives? Yeah. So I think plugging in. To the local church, getting plugged yeah, into a growth you, group. Yeah, you can't grow without people. There's right. no, because we're called to people. Yes. And then we're called to produce people. You can't grow yes. without people. And people really, you know, we've heard so many different things. And I'm not, like, trying to be so, like, harsh or, or brash or anything. But I will hear people say, well, I got burned by the church. And I'm like, really? One church? Like, are you yeah. kidding? Like, people are out there every day. Yes. Like, and it doesn't speak for every church yes. the, the same way as every, uh, like, I'm not going to base every man on your opinion or every woman on her opinion yes. or we're not making those blanket statements yes. there's a covering out there get under a covering because without it you're simply just doing you're not answering to anybody and you're divided in all of your ways yeah. you find a healthy church and good people get under that leadership and and begin to learn that's right you know what i mean that's like, so good. and let people grow you like the challenging yes. people the personalities that yes i'm telling you you run into conflict with somebody it's more about you than it is about them yes you and, know? and the you understanding too as much as we are trying to figure out god's call on our life so is everyone else yes and it's the carrying that grace to be like oh you feel the same way when it comes up so maybe sometimes you didn't hear them or maybe you're wondering is this god like oh i can have grace for you yeah. We can do this thing together. Yeah. It's called the church. And so really, you know, the last question for us to talk about, because um, we want to give you guys some questions that you can talk with your friends and family and growth group with. But really the last one, as we've been talking about community and people um, and God's plan, you know, and it's called both for us and people. Really, the question I kind of want to end with is what is it about walking out God's plan that, yes, we know that he's called us and we know that there's practical ways that we can grow in that. But what is it about the idea of God's plan? And it's called for for everyone that people are missing. Like, not not to so like we talked about already, like sure. why they're not walking out the God's call. But now that they're saying, no, I want to walk out God's call in my life. What is it that, you know, when the key point that people are missing when it comes to the truth about God's call on people's lives? Um, the truth about God's call. The God's call is the same thing. It goes back to it goes back to people. Yes. Right. It, it's yes. always going to be about people. And yes. so we always look for my calling and my gifting and my, yes. and me, 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 my, but it's his. Yes. And it's given to us for the benefit of the body. It says mm -hmm. his gifts are given to us for the benefit of the body. That yes. means people. Yes. And so if without me, uh, you could be missing something. Without you, I'm missing something yes. because we're a unit. It's like we're yes. working together. And so we're missing it if we're not involving people. And the byproduct of that is if we're leading a path, and frequently it's difficult. We know, like, as forerunners, as, as, and we're, we're getting into that in this next series, yeah. as pioneers, as trailblazers, yes. you're laying a path ahead of everybody else so that others can follow. Okay. So, man, we've got to have the people that are following. That's the evidence. Yes. That's the fruit. That's yes. the byproduct of answering God's call is people. It's, yes. not, it's not for you to gain platform, for yes. you to gain notoriety, for you to gain... So like, man, die without anybody knowing me except for the people that have followed me yes. to the Lord. You know, like, man. That's so good. And I think, again, going back to if we're trying to figure out God's call for our life, let's just look at his call um, that he gave in general. And that's mm -hmm. him sending his son to die on a cross. What was it for? People. Mm -hmm. Him building the church. It's for people. Um, Jesus telling disciples, go and make disciples for people. Um, Jesus saying, I'm going to leave, but I'm going to give you my spirit. What was that for? God, oh, people. <laughs> people. Like everything, yeah. everything has yeah. to go back to people. So when we talk about God's call on my life, we we can't help but think, oh, people. 
Yeah. If we're thinking anything else, I think we're missing it sometimes. Yeah. Not to say, yes, God has specific plans for your life, but it doesn't even involve also the church. Like This is in your personal business. If you're yeah. a doctor or a teacher, like, it's, again, for people. And so we hope that this conversation today, mm-hmm. I know it encouraged me. It, yeah, it, yeah. it just helps me. And so we want to leave you with just with some questions, uh, three questions that you can talk with your friends and family with. Um, or if you're in a growth group today and you're watching this, these are the questions that we want you to discuss. And the first one is this. What are some of the reasons you have found or find yourself struggling with when it comes to walking out the calling God holds over your life? So we had mentioned some of them being, you know, trying to live out someone else's calling, Mm -hmm. uh, comparing callings, uh, maybe not even having a personal relationship with God. So you don't even know that God has a calling in your life. So what are some of those that you're struggling with? Question number two, referencing back to what we had talked about, uh, what what are the things that, that you can do or get plugged into that will help you in God's call or and walking out God's call on your life? So yeah. what is it? Is it is it getting plugged into the church? Yeah. Is it growing in your personal life? Is it surrounding yourself with the right people? Yeah, what, reading his word, praying, you know, praying, yeah. coming into a relationship with him yes. so that you know who it is that's speaking to you. Yes, I mean, exactly. Just those practical, the practical So things. what are some of those or maybe other things that you're saying like, hey, I think I can, if I do this, it'll help me. Um, and the last question is, how can you this week Help someone around you and help their help them walk out the calling God has on their life. Mm-hmm. You know, I think right now would be perfect. Just take a second to think about who is it that I can, again, getting ourselves to start thinking about people mm-hmm. and reminding ourselves that God's call both on our lives and corporately, it's yeah. always about people. So yeah. really it's a discussion that you can have, but really it's a personal challenge within everyone that's yeah. watching. Today. Like, who Encourage is it? Encourage somebody. We're yes. not asking for you to like face-to-face somebody and prophesy. <laughs> like, just encourage them, you yeah. know, just to t- remind them who they are. Yes. State facts about who they are. You're mm-hmm. you're a giving person. Yes. You're generous in all your ways. You care about people. You're compassionate. Just speak into whatever yes. truth is into them. And then um, and then be a leader. Like, give them somebody to follow. Yes. Give them somebody to follow. I love that. Yeah. Be an example. And so we hope these questions will help you uh, be vulnerable, be open, be honest. Um, So talk with um, somebody around you in your group, in your family. These questions continue to grow and have conversations. We love you guys, and we hope to see you back here next week.